Students from Groves Academy in St. Louis Park are taking a project from the classroom right to the boardroom. Yeah, the students have a unique take on footwear and wait until you hear who wants to see it. They have a pitch meeting scheduled with executives at New Balance in Boston, Massachusetts. The group flies out Thursday and has their pitch in Boston first thing Friday morning. You're, you're being conscious of your presentation. You realize, no, I'm not in Minnesota. I'm in Boston, Massachusetts. Your explanation for the whole process was wonderful. Your jump in, Thomas, was awesome. And we're like, we need to be flexible about this. Let's go a different direction. So we began with a box full of shoes and a bunch of hot glue and Velcro. But then we realized that it will still come off in a certain direction. So we decided to add the rail system that you saw earlier. Okay, our transportation is here and I want to give you guys a chance to get all together all right. so we can head out. If you have everything you need to do, if you know what you're going to see, you know what you're going to wear, make sure that you brought everything that you need, there's nothing to be worried about. At the end of the day, you're talking to just regular people. It's been wonderful to watch the students' abilities, their confidence, and their entrepreneurial spirit grow through the entire process of preparing for this opportunity. On the van ride there, we were definitely feeling the nervous a little bit. And we were actually singing the, the Shrek theme song in this kind of pop up music. What noticeability recognizes is that the neuroscience that's now emerging indicates that we have this cognitive profile of advantages that reveal themselves in certain professional paths. What makes this such a valuable experience is that it allows the students to see that the work that they're doing through GROWS and through the programming and noticeability really resonates into real life applicable skills that transcend the classroom and actually have the ability to have impact in a boardroom. Ken, Andy, nice to meet you. Ken. Our desire through partnerships with schools like Groves is to engender a sense of responsibility within the dyslexic community, which has the infrastructure of a school like Groves, which understands the nuances of reading remediation, but also understands the social emotional growth that's so important. And we look at schools and partnerships like that as sort of an incubator for the next generation of dyslexics who are going to lead this civil rights issue. And I mean that sincerely. It is a civil rights issue. Our mission of building confidence, success, and purpose through transformative learning experiences, we want our students who typically come to us at average or above average intelligence to use the skills, strategy, care, and curriculum that we've developed to go beyond where they think they're capable of going. Our calendar, right? This is how much detail we get when we go into products like this. We go through innovation. Have this piece that uh, did you guys 3D print it or did you guys? No, I used the Nerf gun. Are we, we use the Nerf gun. Okay, you used the Nerf gun. That's an awesome story. Okay, that that is ingenuity. Coming out of that boardroom, I could see it. I was looking out. I could, I could see down the window. I could see my mom, and Thomas, and Wendy's grandparents. I was like, okay, this is really cool. Walking out and just seeing everyone there, man, it was, it was so cool. I'll never forget about this. The New Balance team chose to give them what they really needed, meaning giving the students real genuine feedback. Not, great job, way to go, so proud of you. But we love the way you're going in terms of thinking from a different perspective. Uh, we like your market analysis, we like what you've created. 
now this is what I think you could do to continue your path. And that was like, they were treating them like adults, like adults with real genuine entrepreneurial endeavors that could be matured into something that could be potentially viable. Here in Boston, Massachusetts, where the New Balance headquarters is located, we have a lot of coordination between New Balance Warrior Hockey and the Boston Bruins. And one of my board members is a gentleman who plays for the Boston Bruins named Brad Marshan, who is not dyslexic, but who stands, I think, 5'10", and through his entire youth was told to give up on hockey because he just wasn't big enough. Well, when I was speaking to Brad, I said, look, you understand now what it's like to be dyslexic. We're constantly told what we're not good at and to give up on things. And what did Brad do? He's done an amazing job establishing himself as one of the premier scorers in the NHL. With executive functioning, it's our brain's ability to adapt the attitude and behaviors that are necessary to achieve a goal. And through the course, we're looking at the different modalities that are connected with executive functioning. Mindfulness, emotional control, response inhibition, goal-directed persistence, the ability to plan and time management. And so we're using all of these skills, certainly in an academic context, but they're certainly applicable beyond the classroom. He was nervous about it, which is unusual. Tommy doesn't get nervous about, especially talking to people or going out and having to do things that would make us, that's awkward or that's, you know, nerve wracking. Tommy doesn't get nervous about stuff like that, but he was, you could tell he was very nervous about this and it meant something to him. That practical application of learning and that practical exploration of genuine ideas and building and manifesting them with your hands and ultimately creating a pitch provides for these kids not only the first time that they're able to succeed but to do so at much higher levels than their contemporaries it changes the entire dynamic of the classroom and more importantly changes the entire dynamic of that in, internal narrative that they're telling themselves day after day.